Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to this 100% walkthrough of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Today, we are taking on Ruin of the Jedi on free play mode to clean it all up. We've got seven mini kits and the power brick to collect, and we also need to get True Jedi, because this is one of the few that we failed to get True Jedi on in story mode. So, free play Anakin Skywalker Ghost. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do a level that I actually quite enjoy, following last time where it's one of my least favourites. So... A lot to look forward to in this one. It's pretty cool visiting the Jedi Temple, even if it is in a little bit of ruin, but let's get going. So first thing we want to do is head over here, use the force on some of these bricks here, which you can move away. You'll notice that the clone troopers are holding carrots as well. That's because I'm using the disarm trooper brick, um, which basically takes away their weapons and replaces them with carrots. So they now can't attack us. So it just makes things a bit easier for us. Uh, let's get the third one of these. So we pile these three on top of each other. Jump up on top of this pile. Then switch to our high jump character who this time is Captain Tarpals. And jump up and collect mini kit number four. So now we want to head all the way over to the right of this area. We want to destroy these. Like so. Just to get them out of our way. Uh, and we need to build... No, there it is. We're going to use this grapple point up here with our clone trooper. We're going to head all the way up to the back of this area here. We will jump up onto this ledge. And then up onto this next ledge. Where we will see this dark force window here. So we'll swap to our dark force character who is Darth Vader. Destroy that. And jump inside. And... Uh, okay. Well, there we go. Um, apparently there's something we need to destroy there, which I cannot see. Uh, game? What is going on here? Uh, okay. This should be interactable, but apparently not. I'm not sure what's going on here. This appears to be some sort of glitch that... I don't remember being a thing unless we've got to, of course, throw a thermal detonator at it with Zam Wessel. I mean, it's possible. Yep, that's what we needed to do. <laughs> Silly me. You could see as well by the shiny nature of it. But anyway, we'll build that and collect mini kit number five. And I call myself an expert at this game. Uh, right, let's use the force on these doors then to move them out of the way. These guys shouldn't really cause us too many problems at all. They're just going to pretty much stand there, to be honest. And we shall head inside. So when we get inside of the Jedi Temple, we want to head all the way to the back of this room. Uh, let's repair that, why not? Or blow it up, whatever it is. Um... <laughs> We could do with the studs anyway, so why not? We need true Jedi, but we're going to get it very easily given that we've got these squad multiplier bricks now. Uh, let's take this guy out, shall we? And then we're going to use the force to build this stairway out of the red bricks. We're going to jump up all the way to the top, take out the clone, and we'll switch to an Imperial character. Um, I think the clone should do it, yes. And then we're going to head inside this room. Now at the back of the room here... We will find our next mini kit up here in this little machine, which is mini kit number six. Guys, if you get the hell out of here, what have they got here? Pizza? Eating pizza on the job? What's going on? Anyway, let's head out of here. When we get out of here, this guy's going to try and attack us, but of course he's got a carrot and not an actual weapon, so he's not going to be able to do an awful lot, is he? Uh, we can move this which is just going to be a bit of a trap, really, so... Uh, okay. Let's take those out, why not? And then we're going to head all the way over to the right of this area next, collect up these studs. Uh, I thought we wanted to head that way, but it seems we are a little bit lost. Do we need to do this? We don't, but we'll get studs for doing it, so I won't complain. Uh, why is it that I can't remember where we need to go here? Do we just go up over past this door? We do! Look at that. I have no memory of this place, as Gandalf once said. Um, right, on we go. <laughs> Let's use the force on this to repair it. We haven't got fast force just yet, so 
We're going to have to rely on the slow force for this one. There we go. Oh, a blue stud. That will do very nicely indeed. And pushes us over into True Jedi, which is excellent. Um, we're not going to go through there just yet. We're going to head down this pathway. And at the end, we're going to find some more blue studs, which we'll pick up. Uh, we might be able to get that from here. No. Nope. We do have stub magnet on, but it's not strong enough to get that. And then we're going to head into this room at the end of here, where we're going to use the force to pile up some chairs. And when we've done that, uh, those guys are going to pay no attention to us at all, apparently. So we'll just take them out. We'll build all this into a big tower of chairs in the Jedi Council room. Then we'll swap to our high jump character, Captain Tarpals. Um, we'll jump up onto these chairs, like so, and up to mini kit number seven. Now we can head on use the force on those little things to the side of the door, not there, further up here, and continue on to the next part of the level. Go, get rid of that, get rid of that. These will, uh, I don't recall this being a thing. I think it just leads up to some studs. Yeah, it does. Wow, we're dead. Okay, never mind. Uh, we don't actually need to do anything with those Dark Force things, so... I mean, there's literally no point of going up there. So, on to this next part of the level then we go. Um, there should be some clones around and things, but we're just going to skip them for the time being. We'll go all the way onto this area up at the back of this. Because that's where we're going to need to do our next order of business. So we're going to head into these little areas here. Uh, there's our mini kit up there. So we're going to use the force on these. And then the force on these. We'll jump up onto these. Really? Jump up onto these platforms like so. Switch to Captain Tarpals, our high jump character. And jump up to mini kit number eight. We also need to use the force on all of these switches here because that will power this up. So don't forget to do that if you're playing along at home. So there we go. We'll head into the next one and do the same again. There we go. Jump up. Use the force on... No, we won't use the force on that. I mean, we can just use Captain Tar Powers to be honest to jump up there and press that button. Be a lot easier, won't it? And then we'll swap back to Anakin Ghost and we'll turn that one on. And then there's one more on this side as well that we need to do that with. So let's jump down and head round into this little area here. Uh, we'll, sure, why not? We'll do that. And then that should be fine for us getting up here, to be honest. Yep. And we'll use the force on this one as well. And that will power up the last one of these, which should lower down a bit of a platform for us now. So when we get over here, you'll notice, hopefully, yep, here comes the little arm, which is exactly what we need. So this little arm will swap to Captain Tarpals, jump up onto this little arm, and then jump across to the left here. Then we'll jump up onto this ledge, head all the way around here. And you can see our power brick covering just about up in the sky there. We'll swap to our astromech character who is R2Q5, fly it over this little thing here and pick up our next mini kit, which is mini kit number nine. Uh, this is a C3PO panel, I believe. Yep. Protocol droid panel. We'll use the force on here. Switch to Captain Tar Powers and jump up. I said jump up. Uh, jump up to the next level as well. Open up the switch to power that one on like so then we'll head around and do the same on these ones here uh, I mean to be honest we can probably just do this we can indeed we'll use tar powers to jump up to this button turn it off use the force on this one that'll power up the second one and then there's just one more to go and we should be able to get our power brick so, let's head on. I always find this part of the level seems to slow the level down a bit. Like, it interrupts the sort of motion of the level a little bit. I'm not sure it's the best designed part of the level, but never mind. Okay, and we'll power that one up as well, which will move the second arm into position. As you will see in just a second. When we head back over here. So, the second arm goes there. Unfortunately... 
to get back there, we're going to have to go all the way around again. So we'll swap to Captain Tarpaus. And we're going to have to jump up and head round again, rather than being able to just get up there. Which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind. Uh, round we go. Almost fell there. Jump round, and then we can get onto this little arm here. Hopefully we don't overshoot it. And we'll jump up for our power brick. So, on we go with the level through this door. Which we actually opened up a fair moment ago. So, And there is our last mini kit in there. Now, to get this one, what we're going to have to do is come down here, get rid of all these guys all in one go. Uh, we'll use our Bounty Hunter character Zam Wessel to blow that up with a Thermal Detonator and then we'll swap to our Dark Force character who is Darth Vader to blow that up as well. Now we'll stand on the switch. Uh, Darth Vader should get on the other one. He has done. We'll swap back to Zam Wessel. We'll throw a Thermal Detonator up there and blow that up which will allow us to rebuild this panel here like so. And then we will use the force on that button that was just revealed to us here, like so. And that will turn that little bit of power barrier thing <laughs> off so we can get our final mini kit of the level. So now let's just use the force on here, like so. Which will start up this little display here, hopefully. And it does, and it ends the level. So we unlocked the Deflect Bolts Power Brick. We also got True Jedi, believe it or not. Something we haven't got for a little while in this playthrough, but we got it easily with our score multiplier bricks. We got a lot of studs as well. Which is good news. And we got the remaining seven mini kits that we needed in this level as well. And a bunch of studs for that too. And we get a gold brick, of course, for getting true Jedi. And a gold brick for getting the mini kits. So let's head back to the cantina. We'll see if there's anything interesting we can buy from the shop. Maybe we can buy some more of the power bricks. And then we'll check our percentage complete stat, as we always do, to sort of see where we are at with the playthrough. So, two forms of Anakin there. Anakin when he's dead and Anakin when he's turned to the dark side. <laughs> to put it bluntly, I suppose. Anakin when he's dead. <laughs> Anakin when he's redeemed himself and become a force ghost. So let's head back to the cantina store through here. Like so. Right, what extras have you got for us, buddy? We've got most of these, I think, now. Except for the score times 10, I believe. Which is going to take us a while to save up. We'll get the score times 6 and score times 8 first when we unlock them. Which hopefully won't be too much longer. Right, we'll get Deflect Bolts. Uh, we haven't got the score times 2, weirdly. Is that score times 2 multiplayer? I'm not sure. No, it's not. It's something else. Okay, we've got score times 2, score times 4. Super Zapper. That's actually all we can buy, apart from the score times 10. Uh, so... We are up to 67% complete now, nearly three quarters of the way through the game, but that is going to do it for this episode. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to Arcades Games, my patron, for all the support on my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.